Hey guys, what is up? The Neo Cubist here. Welcome to my 1.19 survival Letty play. As I typed, let's play. So, we're gonna be playing regular. We're not gonna be playing hardcore anymore. We're just gonna play survival for now, but we are gonna play it on hard difficulty. The seed is gonna be Neo, Neo, Neo. We'll do four Neos. How about that? And we're gonna see what we end up with. So, I will come back when it's loaded in. So yeah, after four or five seasons of hardcore, guys, we are completely... Ooh, this is already... Ooh, <laughs> this already feels so good. This is a nice world. So yeah, after four or five seasons of hardcore, we're back in regular survival, where I indeed can do things that are maybe not the most smart thing to do, but like, you know, I, I could, for instance, climb this. You know, I don't have an MLG bucket, but I am telling you right now, there's going to be quite a few MLG buckets. But like this, I can do this, and look, I can click respawn. <laughs> I, I'm tempted to do that a whole bunch of times, but I'd rather not. I'd rather not bore you. But I can just tell you off the bat, dude. This world is incredible. I have tried to start this series, I think, like four or five times now. And I keep leaving because the world isn't good. Oh, baby. But this world looks so nice. Oh, yeah, dude. This reminds me of the old alpha generation. So I'll do slash seed so that you guys can get that as two. Or so that you guys can get that seed too. You could just type Neo four times or you could type that numerical seed. Either one. You can pause it there and screenshot it. Okay, well, let's get a tree. That's the first thing, okay? We're just going to get a tree. So I will tell you off the bat, my name is Neo or Lee, if you're new to the channel. I make just regular old Minecraft Let's Play videos. I do a lot of other stuff too, like I have a Skyblock server, I do a ton of stuff, but I will tell you, I try to show more than most YouTubers. Take that as you will, it's good for some people, bad for some people, but no, I don't do a bunch of hyper editing. And uh, no, I won't show like mining cobblestone for like 30 minutes, I promise. I do cut out stuff that's that boring, but like for instance, I won't just like, you know, make make tools off camera because I'm just going to, it's it's really quick. <laughs> There's no point. But yeah, I mean, that's enough talking about, the, you know, the video. Let's just get into it. So obvious, oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to run into there. This is quite an interesting structure over here. And uh, I may as well get some sort of early game food. Probably not like the best food source. Okay, thank you, Bush. Not the best food source, but hey, there's a lot of it, and it's literally right here, so I might as well grab it. Since we are on hard mode, I think that means we still die from hunger, uh, which is fine. Did that one come back that quick? I guess it is just RNG if it were to come back. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Fox. <laughs> Looks like a slaughter happened over here. That's not great, but... Oh, no. Is he running away? Do you have the chicken? No, I want the chicken. Let me have the chicken. <laughs> is he chasing? He's, I'm chasing him, but he's running away with the chicken. I would like this chicken, good sir. Well, are they going to drop it? Or they will they re really just run forever? Can I have the chicken? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Neo cannot get the... <laughs> I can't get the chicken. That's okay, though. But yeah, off the bat, this is the best world I think I've made so far. So I, I, I think we're going to stick with this one. Let's get these tall flowers. I already got ideas springing up in my head for what we're going to do for our first little base here. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some sheep over here. Now, I don't have any iron, but I'm willing to bet that if I just dug straight down, we're, we're going to try some luck, okay? So we're going to do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I'm going to dig a hole. Okay, so we're just going to dig a hole. If we get iron right here, you guys have to leave a like on the video. Please, please, game, give me iron. Okay, leave a dislike for me, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no iron was found with my methods here. I do want to try that one more time. I feel like we were cheated a little bit. So we're going to go over here, eeny, uh, boom. This one right here. Because I'd like to be able to shear those sheep, you know, and not waste all the stuff we could be getting from them. Please give me some iron. I mean, like, this is not typical. You know, you don't really want to mine straight down. Well, I should probably click start recording. I got the replay mod now too, guys. That's right. Your boy has replay. Oh, it's okay. It's a little bit dark, but that's okay. We're just going to make a pickaxe and then we're going to make a little bit of a sword. Yeah, that, yep. Just disregard me. Sometimes I, I misspeak quite a bit. You'd think I wouldn't after all the years of doing this, but it still happens all the time. And let's see what we can get. Okay, so there's no iron. That's fine. We'll just kill the sheep by hand. It really is not that big of a deal. I am going to build out of here with wood. I feel like that's kind of a something that we can get way easier than cobblestone off the bat. And I will cover this hole up. So as much as I hate to do it, I am very sorry, my good sir, but I need the wool. I would like to be able to sleep. You may be able to hear my dog sleeping behind me as well, but that's all good. I don't want to kill more than I have to. We already have the three wool. 
I want to go back to where it looked pretty. <laughs> I do like this area. There's a lot of rivers and little ponds and such, but I do enjoy a nice old alpha terrain generation where it's kind of crazy and there's a bunch of overhangs and stuff. So let's go back over there. All right. Well, here we are back to a, this is a very large beach. Like this is huge. I do appreciate that Mojang added that back for 1.18. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. That looks kind of crazy. I am curious. I see. I see some stuff over there, so maybe we should make a boat and kind of, you know, check out the perimeter of this area because I do like this little overhang that we initially saw, but if there's more to this world that we could, you know, potentially explore, I don't want to settle down in a place that isn't absolutely perfect, but I do really, really like this area over here. It looks like the mobs despawned, so that's kind of nice. I know I could get that coal, but it's in kind of an awkward spot. Well, let's just go over there and let's check it out real quick. Oh, baby, wait. Look at this. So not only do we have that over there, it looks like there's something over here as well. And it's funny because there's not like a cave or anything. Okay, let me let, let me do it. <laughs> oh, I can't sprint. I was like, why is this not working? I will take care of you. Why did you not? Water, please. Okay. So this is not the best food to eat. Like obviously, I think it gives you, oh. It gives you a whole hunger. You know what, this isn't too bad. Oh no. No, no, a challenger approach is not again, please. I'm obviously not very good at PvP after playing so much Skyblock recently. I did start a Skyblock server, but we're not going to mention that here. We're not going to mention that here. Ooh, we got some coal. Let's go. Nice, dude. So I am curious. We will go in that little overhang spot for sure and check that out, but I am going to need some coal because I do want you guys to be able to see. I do have Optifine on, meaning I can zoom, as you saw. Um, but I also just have it on so that I can have the, the lighting for you guys. So, I'll get this coal real quick, and then I will come right back. Okay, there we go. I don't think... Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we have all the coal. There is some down there, but it's okay. Coal is pretty common. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Let's just get up here and let's check this out. What in the world? This is the strangest seed I've ever seen. Dude, I am literally so happy. I am so, so happy I got a good seed. I, I'm serious. I started recording this Let's Play like four or five times. And every time since I like to... That's a big old beach. We're not going to live there. But it's cool because there's... Oh. We could call it the Lush Beach. Because there's there's Lush Caves below that over there. You guys see that, right? What in the world? <laughs> it's just a, We're not even on amplified terrain, Jen. The world's just like, bruh. You want this? We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha, you, fam. Oh, this looks so nice, though. Look at that. That is a beautiful area. And look, there's a little shipwreck over there. I kind of want to go over there and just check it out for a second. But like I said, I do want to explore this area over here. Let's just jump into this water real quick. So I think this was the area. Yeah, we might have to fight our way through this. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> there's a skeleton. I believe I still have the... Uh... Oh, this... oh, this is so cool looking. I believe I still have the uh, vanilla tweaks, I think it's called, where the shield is smaller. So if we can find some iron real quick here, that would be nice so I can make a shield and defend from the skeletons. Because you guys know forever that I never used shields. I always said they were terrible. But re lately I've been using them and they're really nice. As you saw in the Hardcore in a Jar series. Ah, oh, dude, this is seriously like a really beautiful seed. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. I don't think I can jump all the way to that water. So I may have gotten myself in a little bit of a predicament here. I feel like I could get there. Uh, it's prob probably not worth the risk, though, to be honest with you. And I could just walk over here. Maybe, ooh, maybe there's some iron in here. Please? Please? No, this isn't even a cave. That's okay. Let's go check out that big old beach, and then we'll go back in there and we'll conquer that. I really want to live in there, but I also want to see what's, you know, in the rest of the world. So we only have four pieces of wood. Oh, no. Okay, I'll get a little bit of wood. I'll come back. We'll make a boat and do some exploring. Okay, so this should be more than enough. If that's the last piece. And I do want to get this sugar cane. Just a good idea off the bat. Now, again, the only food source we currently have is these sweet berries. And they're not <laughs> they're not a great food source because anytime you're eating them, you see, it'll place them like that. It's just so weird. I don't know why Mojang did it like that. Um, but yeah, let's just make ourselves a boat and we'll go explore. Because I do want to see what's on this beach. I mean, it looks nice. Oh, and the sun is setting, so maybe we should make a bed as well. Let's do that too. And let's buy, you know what, we might as well make it a 
any color of bed aside from white. I, I don't like the white beds. I feel like they're just too... Oh man, I came from a time where the beds were all red. Okay, the red bed is the coolest one, but I don't have any red dye. But yeah, the sun sets on our very first day in survival. Ooh, I'm so happy. This is a beautiful world. This is truly a beautiful... Why? Why, why can't I sleep? Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, well, there we go. Sweet dreams indeed. Let's go set off on our first adventure. I'm curious to see, is this going to be like a... It looked really big from my perspective. And I don't even think it's a desert. I just truthfully think it's a very large beach over here. And this whole world, like, look, even over there is all like broken up. You see that over there? That's so strange. I mean, the terrain can be like that, but it also can be like really plain and boring and flat. So whenever you find something like this, you better hold it near and dear because it's not forever. Yeah, look, this is just one big beach biome. Cool. Like, this is absolutely properly massive. What in the world is over there? Oh, baby, dude, we got to go check that out as well. I do want to see the lush cave, but I don't want to like, I don't want to go there yet. Maybe we'll go there in tomorrow's episode, or maybe we'll just go there later in this episode. Who knows? But I think, I think I see something over there that looks good, but let's, what is this? Is this only half of a ship? Where's the other half? Can, can, can ships do this? Like spawn out of the water, but there's only half? Is this like, just like a broken seed or something? <laughs> I didn't realize they could be floating, but only half of it's here. I thought they'd be sunken if they're not full. Huh, okay. Well, let's see what kind of loot holds within the, the, the great ship. That's actually so nice off the bat. If there's not nine of either, I'm not going to take them. Okay. That's actually super duper nice. It would have been nice before we found the sheep, but that's okay. And then we'll go in the captain's quarters and get the good stuff. Oh, you know we're going to be going to that. I uh, I'll take the books. Uh, the compass is eh, it's mid, but we'll take it anyways. Let's see. Oh, the buried treasure is just right here. Well, that, this is the greatest buried treasure map I've ever seen. I think it's gonna be like. Oh wow! Oh, we're already on top of it. Okay, so I do know the trick with the chunk numbers, so I can find it pretty easily. I think. M maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably make an iron shovel, so hold on. Well, I I'm not gonna lie, I have not made the shovel yet, because I keep looking over there, dude, and I'm just seeing this terrain generation, like, what is that? I'm very curious, we're gonna go check out that next, because that just looks crazy. Um, but I did also look up on Google how to find buried treasure every time. So there's something when you press F3, at least on Java Minecraft, called chunk coordinates, and if you go to 9, 9, the, the Y value in the middle doesn't matter, you'll find it every time. So assuming, yeah, we're like pretty much right on top of it. So we just have to have this menu up for just a second. And then it'll be right below us, like right, right here. Like literally on this block right here. It has to be. Look at that, dude. Every single time. Oh, dude. Look at all the emeralds and stuff, like off the bat. I do want to take the cooked cod. I'll take the cooked salmon. We'll take the gold. That is a water breathing potion. We'll take that, of course. We'll take this. Like, I'm not, I'm not even scared. Like, if we were to die, which we're not gonna, we wouldn't lose the world. Like, that's so much pressure off our backs. We can, like... Oh, dude, I'm so excited. So read the description if you want the premise of this series. I will throw that out. We don't need that. Well, actually, maybe we'll put that in an item frame to signify our first adventure. But let's go and check this out, like, off the bat. Because this looks so nice. How many times can I say off the bat? I don't know. No, this isn't live streamed. I'm just talking to you guys. I know you're thinking, like, you know... <laughs> You said that quite a bit. I'm just so excited. I don't know what else to say. Well, there's another buried, buried uh, treasure over there. Not a buried treasure, but there's probably a map. Oh, dude, that looks so beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. I mean, even our spawn area, like over there, looks so beautiful. What is this? What is going on in this world, man? Like, what, what is this random, just like dirt? So I guess we found a broken seed. N not a broken seed, but a seed where everything is just like times 10. We're not on Amplified. We're on normal terrain gen. Which makes us all the better. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Oh, I, I have so many ideas for how we could live there. I don't even, I, I literally don't even know what to choose. But we are going to go here. I guess we'll utilize our, like, like what, what is that over there with the desert? Like, what is, go, what is going on with this world? Oh, this is like a full ship ship. Oh, wow. Yeah, look, it's not dilapidated at all. It's like a full one. So you'd think this would be the one that's floating and the other one would be sinking, but yeah, whatever. So this is three minutes of water breathing. So we could definitely use this and check it out. 
Maybe we could kill a few, uh, kill a few fish to cook up. I know we have a few, like, in our inventory. Oh my gosh, my aim. Please, come here, fish. I need it. I need you so bad. It's gonna be a nice, uh, you know, early game food source. I feel like fish is just absolutely so, so perfect. Come here, salmon. I'm very sorry about this. I do, I do apologize. Oh, my inventory's full. Not anymore. Ooh, you know what I could do? I love that I can just sit underwater. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. I could make some torches, which would be very nice. And we'll hold them in my hand. That way you guys get the light. So you guys know I always have this on. That way you guys can see the light around me. Which is from Optifine. People always ask me, Neo, how do you get the, the light around you? It's from Optifine and when you're holding a light source. Dude, we already have 33 iron and we haven't even mined 16 of that. I don't really, like I said, I don't, I don't really feel like, okay, we'll, we'll take that because it's a perfect nine. But I feel like Lapis early game is kind of useless and it's something not very hard to find. Yeah, you may break things a little slower underwater, but that's okay. Let's go see. Is there if there's another buried treasure map and it's this close, I'm just going to like assume that it's gonna be the same one we already visited, but might as well check it out. Oh, and there's not. There is bamboo. That's actually super nice. I don't think we'll take paper, but we will take potatoes. We will gladly take some potatoes. There's a third chest in here? <laughs> okay. I'll take that. We do have some extra feathers. Oh, this is so interesting. Okay, we're gonna put that up. We don't need that anymore. Um, we'll put our food over here. I'd like to sort this a little better, but it's okay. Is this the one? No, okay, so this one's completely different, but it's still on the map. So maybe we should go look at this one as well. Man, that's a lot of adventure for one. <laughs> I really wanted to just look at this area over there, but that one looks equally as crazy. Okay, well, we'll go, but we'll, we'll go to where this one is, because I do want to find this out. It looks like it's going to be over there, so I'll come back when I'm, when I'm there, because it is pretty close. Okay, yeah, so it was literally just right here in between these two. So you can see, instead of it being right there, and, and right there, it's like just, just literally right here. I guess on the tip right here? Yep, and then we just got to do F3 and look for that 9-9 chunk coordinate, which is probably right here and then right here. Because you guys know buried treasure is just ridiculous to find. So if you do that, you'll you can find it every time. Well, we already have four diamonds. <laughs> I'm not upset about that in any capacity. Two hearts of the seas, 13 gold, tons of fish. We're just gonna, we'll keep those, but I don't wanna, oh, I guess my water breathing ran out. This will be a much better food source. So let's take this, let's go look over there. Let's take the boat over there, and then we're finally gonna settle down somewhere. I don't know if I wanna live underground in the lush forest biome. I don't know what I wanna do yet. Maybe we'll have a hybrid base that kind of, you know, a little bit, a little bit of it is above ground, a little bit of it's underground. Who knows? But this just looks w just wild over here. Oh, dude, I haven't felt this good about a world in a long time. And plus, it's nice because we know we can't lose it. But like, what, <laughs> what is all this stuff? Why does it look so broken? Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, I want to live inside of that so bad. That could be really cool. And there's tons of sand over here for glass. Okay, I'm trying to figure out a good way. You know what I can do? As much as I love these guys, I'm gonna throw out that. I'm gonna throw out that. There's probably some things in here I can just throw out, but I do wanna make a bucket so I can do some MLG buckets in the first episode. <laughs> kind of a silly thing, but you guys know me. And you know what? We're, we're just gonna break we're gonna break the boundary. Has Neo ever made a diamond tool in the first episode? Nah, dude. No. <laughs> I definitely have not. So that's that's perfect for me. Okay, we did make the bucket. Just wanted to confirm there. Do I have room? No, I don't have room to put everything. Usually my hot bar is nice and organized and whatnot, but I can't really do that right now. So the episodes will be about 30 minutes each. Maybe the first episode's a little bit longer. Um, we're gonna need our bed here soon. I really don't know. Maybe some episodes are five minutes. Oh, okay. I don't really know. That's the thing. You can read in the description if you want to know the premise of this, you know, kind of how it's going to be. But we're just going to put a boat down here. We're going to sit. We're going to hang out. Look at this, dude. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on right now? Why? Why are the oars? Do you see the oars of the, of the robot are sticking through my shoulders? That does not seem like it's very comfortable. But yes, let's do the thing. Let's sleep. Ah, 
Let's also... Okay, that doesn't work. Hold on. Okay, well, here we are. Back. Back to reality. This is just such a cool... This is such a cool area. Oh, there's even some magma down there. Oh, this is so cool. And this is... And so it leads to, like, a... To, like, a ravine area, I guess? Like, over here? And it's, like, kind of underground, kind of not underground. Oh, no, there's a creeper! <laughs> go, go, boat, go! Go till you can't no mo. Oh, no. I hear something, like, literally right... Do you guys hear that? Is the surface... Oh, it, it, it's so nice starting off with a diamond tool. Because it's just a pain. So this is the surface, just, like, right here. I mean, yeah, this is just... Did I accidentally click on Amplified? <laughs> Did I accidentally click on Amplified or something? Let me save and quit and go back. I, I have to know because this is the best seat in the world, if not. No, guys. I mean, look. It's it's def It's just normal. I mean, it's, it's not Amplified. I'll go back to the first clip and I'll even review it there. I have to know, but... Like, look at that, dude. Let me start the recording again, but dude, just like... Is that must be the shattered savanna, which look at all the iron up there. Oh, dude, this makes me so happy. This is the best world. This is the best world. Look, I got a little adventure cave right here, dude. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh no, I forgot about you. Okay, okay. We there's two there's two paths we can take. We let the creeper get in the boat, and we and we, and we get ourselves our very own creeper boat. Um, <laughs> which if I had a name tag, I'd love to name the creeper. There we go. That's great. That's, that's just, okay. So can we just like, this might be the most clutch play I've ever had. Dude. <laughs> well, hello, Mr. Mr. Creeper Boat. How, how are you doing today? Why are you looking over there? What's, what's over here? Okay. No, Creeper Boat. <laughs> hey, we got our boat back. That's all I care about. I am kind of sad about that. We do have a water breathing potion. Oh, here. We'll make sure that saves. We do have a water breathing potion, so maybe we could explore this cave a little bit. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, for right now, we got to settle in. We, I, I, I want to settle in. We don't have to do anything, but I want to settle in somewhere. And like, oh yeah, I want to review the first clip. Did I accidentally click Amplified and like didn't realize it? I'm 99.999% sure I didn't. And if I didn't, then this is crazy. Like, does it say on F3 anywhere? You guys could pause it and figure that out. I don't think so. But I want to I wanna live up. I want to live up there. It's like calling to me. It's like, come up here, Neo. Come up here, buddy. You know you want to live inside this cool looking rock thing. And you have that as what you can look at all day, which is ooh, it's beautiful. It's like, come on, Neo. You know you want to live over here, buddy. It's like, yes, I do, friend. I do want to live over there. Okay, can I probably should use a shovel <laughs> I think a shovel might help me here I was like I almost lost my world and I'm like no I didn't because I'm I'm, I'm not on hardcore okay <laughs> we'll, we'll put this here guarantee that oh yeah if I woke up every morning and I was looking at that I think I would be the happiest man in the world okay I just reviewed the clip and no we're on normal just regular old terrain gen <laughs> but we ended up with this so I do kind of want to live on this thing. I think this thing's beautiful. Let's uh, bucket ourselves up here a little bit. And uh, let's see what holds on top of this. I don't want to live on top of it. I want to live inside of it. I want to have like a little base up here. Like in this little area. Okay. So it's like just a nice little like thing covered in trees. And there's just random broken blocks. And then we have access to a lush cave like right over there. And this is completely segmented, right? Like, this is the only way up here, I think, is from that floating. No, you can get up here over here. I guess we could remove that eventually. But this is just such a nice area. We have floating coal. We have floating snow stuff. Ooh, okay. I think this is it, guys. So let's go back over here to the OG water flow, which if I guess is like maybe right here. Okay, nope. <laughs> no, it's not. And uh, we'll swim back up here. I'll just dig out a little cavern area just to start with. I will make sure that this gets fixed. The only reason it's like that, I think, is because I put a water bucket. So if I were to do this, then I think for the most part it would get fixed. I don't know. We'll come back and see if it's fixed in a bit. 
Um, but we could definitely do something for now. Let's let let's just drill into here a little bit. It's gonna be nice because a lot of this will be dirt for us to break. So instead of having to break out a giant stone area for our first base, we can just kind of do this. And plus we have a pickaxe that's diamond, so that makes it a little bit easier too. We could even go for a gold pickaxe if we wanted to. Ah. Yeah. That's nice. I'm never going to get used to that. I see the lava. You see the lava over there? See how it's like not flowing? It's because it's so far away. I don't think the game is simulating it. So let's make ourselves a chest here. Yes, sir. How many chests do we need? One, two. We'll start off with four. We'll start off with four. Obviously, this is not our house, but I, I, I need a place to dump all of these useless blocks into. I want to get some leather off the bat so we can put our uh, adventure map somewhere. But maybe we could start by just doing a this kind of sorting where blocks go in one chest and then everything else goes in another. Something like that. We have some raw cod, which we could probably cook up if we made a furnace. And that would be absolutely perfect for us. Don't really have any way to cook it, so we'll just do four raw cod, four spruce planks. That is perfectly fine. And then we'll just put down a bed like over here. I'll dig out this area. And then I want to find where the walls are. I want to also go get some sand. And I have kind of a cool idea for our first base. I have a really cool idea. It's going to be something kind of classic. Something old school. Because I feel like... I don't know. I say this a lot. Maybe I sound like a like a Minecraft boomer. But I feel like Let's Plays a long time ago got so overcomplicated. And uh, I don't want that for this series. I want this to be a simple, enjoyable survival Let's Play. So I wanted to use oak wood. I don't really have a way up there. I don't really, I'm not interested in breaking those trees. Will I go over there and break those? That's fine. I think we should be good. We could probably make an iron ax. I mean, we definitely can. We have 35 iron off the bat. I mean, we could start off with a full set of iron armor. I mean, we have so many options here. What are we gonna do for our first food source? I have no idea. That's the beauty of it. So I'm going to just collect a wee bit of wood. I'm gonna try to go a little bit further from our base. I don't wanna, you know, like break all these trees, but we'll go over in this direction. And then I think tomorrow we'll go in the lush cave and we'll find out what's in there. But we're at least going to get the base built. And it's kind of nice. There's like just spruce wood right here. There's like a mix. You know, you could get some spruce or you can walk two feet in this direction and get some oak. But look at this, dude. There's so many interesting little caves and crevices and caverns. Oh, so many floating blocks too. Like what? What is that? Oh, and uh, directly to the right of these, I was going to cut the camera. It looks like there's another little cavernous area. We got a lava flow and a cow. No, 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 buddy. Trust me, it's not worth it. <laughs> He's like, it looks it looks kind of tasty looking, dude. Okay, you can stay in this little area. Just be safe. Can you give me a moo? Are you a, are you a silent cow? Oh, okay. He, he gave me a huff, but no moo. Like, look at this. Like, what? 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 What are you? There's like just a big wall here. And it's just... The other side is just... What? <laughs> so cool! I like can't stop exploring. I know I don't need to be because I need to be getting wood, but like... I want to be exploring. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, no more exploring. Wood time. Well, I've been, I've been standing near the cow because I wanted to find... Are you gonna moo? Oh, well, as I said, as I said that, he mooed. I hadn't heard him moo. I was standing there for like 30 seconds. I was like, dude, is this cow okay? <laughs> he wasn't making a single noise. Um, but yeah, that's where I am. I'm near that cow. I'm just going to get some, you know, good bit of wood. Enough to start doing something cool. And then, yeah, we'll come back. We'll build the base and we'll call it an episode. Because I think we have done a lot. We've done a lot, for me at least. Having a diamond pickaxe in the first episode is pretty cool. Oh, so exciting. Did you guys know I collect flashlights? I want to tell that in the first episode since there might be some new people on the channel watching. I actually collect flashlights. And I know maybe it stems from a fear of darkness at a young age. I have no idea. I just love flashlights, dude. Go to go to reddit.com slash r slash flashlights or just flashlight, I think. And you can see, oh no, it's getting dark. We probably honestly have enough wood off the bat, but... Yeah, I collect flashlights. I, I don't know why I told you that. It's also, I, I live in Oklahoma, and it's been so cool outside, and I bought a house last year, so I've been, like, you know, getting into the whole, like, dad stuff, like, mowing and, and you know, like, cleaning gutters. I, I actually need to clean my gutters, but, yeah, it finally got cool, so I'm excited to go mow later. Whoa, it's gonna be nice. Uh, please don't, 
please don't kill me. <laughs> it's too dark already. I got distracted. I got distracted. Uh, it's so nice to be able to hop into the water, though. But fear not. Okay, we didn't put any torches down inside of our base. So we may be in a... Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. What's that? Oh, 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 what? What? What, what happened? What? Okay, so let's sleep. And then we're going to start to build the base. Actually, I kind of forgot something. I did need to go and grab a few things. <laughs> I do need a little bit of glass because glass is going to be essential in this base. It's going to have big windows because I really want to see that. That to me is just too beautiful to not see every day. So we only we have 53 wood, which is probably enough. There was a huge beach over here, so we'll probably go over here and get the get the sand. I don't want to make it look bad, but trust me, I, I, I can get glass in a responsible manner. It won't affect the vanity of this beautiful, beautiful beach. And it will please you to know, I am using the torch method, which makes this somewhat quicker. And as some people say, it, well, okay, if there's only two, if there's only two blocks, it doesn't really make it that much quicker. Um, but since we're using glass panes, I don't really think we need very much more than like a stack of glass, I think. But I'll get two just to be safe. Okay, so not quite two stacks, but that's fine. Should be enough glass. Let's head up to the base. You know, upon inspecting my hotbar, I've come to the determination I should probably make Rest in peace, stone sword. I should probably make, and that's cool that the amount that you have to travel up this, you get to one bubble by the end. So you can actually travel up it like without having to pe peek out the side, you know, to regen your uh, breathing abilities. So let's go ahead. We're going to leave this here. I want this to be the entrance, but I want the base to be a big window, you know, kind of a big room. So I'm kind of deciding where I want that to be. And I think it's going to be like... I think this level will be the floor, something like that. So I've got my work cut out for me here. Of course, we can always modify like this. This does not have to be right there. Um, but I would like an infinite water source down here. So let's go ahead and grab this. And we will grab this. So rest assured, we will still use an entrance like that. And I'm also going to probably need a little bit of stone. Um, just like regular stones. We do have some coal. Um, just, so, you know, so I can actually like, you know, fix this up a little bit. But I think the base is going to be, yeah, dude, I, <laughs> I got, I got some ideas. Okay. So a frame like this, you know, and then we'll put a bunch of glass in it and it'll look really cool. And obviously I have to break that for now, but yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to do a bunch of digging. I'll show you on the replay mod or something like that. What I do. All right, so I wanted to pause the time lapse there to say that the base is almost done. Of course, we gotta add some walls, we gotta add some floor, but dude, I'm getting more excited as time goes on. This world has that old school vibe right now. It's got that old school vibe, and I haven't had that in quite, quite a while. We're going back to the basics, baby. Back to the basics, indeed. So we're gonna make sure we get a double chest, or sorry, a double water bucket thing, because that's gonna mean we have infinite water. We're gonna go in here. We are gonna have to break some of this stuff. The floor is gonna be on this level, I think. Like on this level right here. So I'm gonna break out this. It should be pretty quick. Now this chest is gonna have to go, but luckily there's like literally nothing in it. We'll probably end up moving these chests in this furnace too, but I did start some glass smelting. And I hope you guys are kind of understanding where this is going, right? Like, I mean, I'll, I'll, we'll go and we'll look at the base from kind of far away. Right, let's see, did, did I break my crafting table? I think I did. So we'll go ahead and just plop that down. Grab some of these panes. You can see you get so much, but like this, something like this. Now we're gonna have to build an entrance, which we'll probably do off to the side. But yeah, we have one of the windows done and then we'll do another one up there. And then I don't know if I'll break out the ceiling one block higher or not. I also don't know what kind of floor I want to do in here. Maybe just cobblestone off the bat. I know people always say, Neo, you use cobblestone too much. So I, I hear you. Maybe we'll move it into stone brick once we have, you know, some more coal. Because, guys, we don't have any more coal. All the coal is going to these, uh... Actually, we may have enough. We may be able to save this. Like, honestly, I think we already have enough. Because, yeah, we had seven or four left over. And they're the same size window. So if we just plop ourselves up to here, then we should be good. Yeah? Yeah, we're good. And look, 
Look at the view we get. <laughs> Whenever we want, we can... Oh, dude, that's so nice. So I'm going to kind of break out of here for a second, and I want to see where do I want... Well, okay, we should probably sleep first. But I wanted to see where do we want to build that entrance. Because obviously to the right of this, there's like not that much room. But over here, there's not that much room. So maybe we can come up from the bottom or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll kind of figure that out in a second. But first of all, let's sleep. Ah, another beautiful day. Another day, another dollar. So we'll temporarily put the water right here. That way I can get back up. But let's go and let's flop ourselves down into the water. Do a little, uh, do a little dive there. And let's just look at this thing for just a moment. I want to get a good angle, so I don't want to turn around just quite yet. I want to make sure that it's perfect. So we'll go like right here. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we will fix that in a second. But I hope you guys can kind of see what I'm going for. We may end up removing that tree and removing that little plane of grass and stone right there. And then we can kind of like make the base bigger. But as you can see, I mean, off the bat, it's looking pretty cool. So yeah, as far as the entrance goes, Maybe we will do it over there and we'll kind of make that a little bit bigger. Hmm. I'm trying to see. Let me think for a sec. No, we're, we're going to leave the water right there. That's perfect. The only thing I really would have to do is this dirt. Okay. Yeah, we don't really need that. Only thing we'd have to do is use some of the stone that we smelted, which is fine. That's why I made it. And uh, we can probably just make this a little bit thicker right here like this, if that makes sense. So the water can come out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought I put the torch down inside the water. I was like, that is not what I meant to do. Okay, so we can have the water kind of hang out right there. I may end up making this a little bit thicker as well. I just want to make sure it looks natural. Does that make sense? I don't want any of this to look unnatural. Okay, so it can look like the water is coming out. I can place this right. It can look like the water is coming out right here. Maybe. And then we have like a little like platform made of oak. Let's try this. We will try this and we will see how it looks. Because we're going to need some slabs as well. Uh, we're also going to need some fence. So we might as well make that too. This is how I just tried to make fence. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's going to work out too, too well for me. Some fish fence. I'm pretty sure it would be a little floppy. Okay, so we have the slabs, we have everything we're going to need, and yes, I'm going to go fix that right now. Uh, I can't really get... Oh, you know, I could get up there. We could just use some dirt. Because the ceiling in here is probably going to be oak wood. But we definitely want to fix that. And I'm pretty sure on that side it just goes directly up. I really don't know. We'll have to look at it from the outside again. But I'm pretty sure it just went up and not over. If that makes sense. Let's go ahead and take our empty water bucket. Before we do any more, let's just make an infinite water source. A little temporary one right here. That way we don't end up losing the water. Okay, there we go. So let me see. Was this one? No, this one it went over at the top. I see. Okay, so we'll do that over here as well. So let me just change it. Okay, so we just got to break it. And uh, hopefully it flings itself into our inventory. Oh, it looks like it flung it out. That's fine. And then I'll just put a piece of stone here for now. But yeah, what I was saying was I want to be able to like kind of come up in like a little thing like this, if that makes sense. And it'll have like some fence around it or something. Just something super duper basic. I, I, I don't want anything super complicated. And then we could even do a little like frame here. And then maybe like put a door. But the reason why I wanted this to all look like it was cemented inside of a... Uh, inside of this so that's why i wanted to make sure i have tons of stone we could break that one that's fine but yeah then we can just like literally put some fence right here you know what i mean and that way when you pop up you literally just fly up into here like that you could even end up putting a piece of stone here and putting the water right there and that's fine and then you could have a door here but like do we really need a door is any mob ever gonna fly all the way up here I hope not. That would be a little uh, a little uh, confusing, kind of concerning as well. And then maybe we could do some sort of roof like this. Something super rudimentary. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. And that way it looks like it has a little bit of a roof, potentially. It's hard to see it from the outside, but I'm just going to trust that that looks okay. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to make a roof on this thing as well. So it is a little bit difficult working like this, but you know what? We're doing it. We're doing it anyways. I do, I already know I'm going to need more fence. So let me go ahead and make that. And we will probably put a log there and then a cobblestone here. 
Ah, why are you looking so good, dude? But yeah, I can just tell you right now, we're going to need fence. So I'm going to make some more fence. Cool, cool. And then we're going to figure... Oh, I need stairs. Hold on. Ah, uh, I don't have any wood. <laughs> we're already out of wood. Okay, you know what? That's fine. And no, I haven't gotten any saplings. But we could do farms like over there. There's so much stuff. Like, you see this. There's so much. There's like a little island over there. It's calling to me. It's calling to me. Let's make our render distance like, I don't know, 32 chunks for just a second. And let me let, let, let it load and then we'll come back and see what's over there. Well, in, in, in the defense of the mountains, you can't really see anything else behind it. You know, because it's so far away. But it's nice to know. I think that's just a big old plains biome over there. But this thing just looks like... Like, dude, it just looks so nice. There's so much iron. I don't want to mine it out. I want to leave that all natural because it looks so pretty. But let me put my render distance back on a reasonable amount so we don't lag ourselves out here. And then we'll get to building the roof thing. Okay, so it is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm probably going to put like a little temporary block right here just so I can stand. And so I can kind of look away, you know, so I can walk over here and look at it. Uh, this this is a little tricky. I think I'm just gonna remove that right now that way it doesn't get in our way Because as it sits right now, it's just gonna be kind of a nuisance as much as I love this tree I, I don't really care for it. Actually. I hate big trees. They're kind of a pain to deal with so we'll go ahead and just remove this and luckily since the the you know actual like trunk of the tree was so low um, We can break all this crazy wood inside of here without having to like pillar up there we go look i think it's already aside from being connected to this tree i think it's already gone yeah look it's already decaying cool oh oh no i just fell oh my gosh okay well apparently there's tons of mobs in there i guess they hadn't spawned but look these zombies are coming at me from this far away also i don't know what happened to my or to the water down there but it looks crazy but yeah i just fell from all the way up there is not a great thing. I'm not bragging. That was kind of bad. But I, I was trying to get saplings and I stood on some leaves that were, uh, uh, you know, not good. But look, we have seven saplings now. So we're definitely doing good. Okay, now we have eight saplings. I don't want to break any of this stuff up here. I, I, I was trying to keep it natural, but that's why I was up here. I was breaking these leaves because I know that these ones will never decay because they were technically touching. So we should be good now. And uh, basically, we're just going to take off this whole slab of land. It's really not going to be very hard. It's pretty small, to be honest with you. Which is uh, definitely a lifesaver, because I don't want to spend you know, the majority of this episode just digging. So, well, I'll break this off. We'll come back, look at it, and then we'll add a little bit of a roof to our base. There is iron there, but I'm probably just going to leave it, if I'm honest. I don't want to, like... I don't want to disturb the natural flow of this just quite yet. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like another sapling. Nice. So now that this is all removed, we should be able to go over here. And, uh, yeah, it looks a lot cleaner, a lot more area for us to work with here. And I don't really know how I'm going to do the roof, but I want to do just something quite simple. I am going to need to make myself a temporary impromptu crafting table here. Haven't heard that in a while, now have you? And we need a few stairs just to kind of set off the fence. So what I mean is, like, we'll probably do a fence, like... A stair and a stair. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay, we gotta hurry this up. Not really. We're not, we're in no rush, guys. We're in no rush. But I do want to make sure I don't die. Oh, it's raining. The beautiful, beautiful rain. This is such a cool world. I can't get over it. I know that's like all I've talked about, but it's genuinely like probably it it's it, it's up there, guys. I haven't had a world this impressive in quite a while, so don't mind my talking of it. Okay, and we'll go up here. We'll probably just do a double type of deal, type of deal. Can I get to that block? No, I can't. And you guys know I don't throw out the type of deals lightly. Type of deal, so. Okay, there we go. That's a rip. Let me get back in here so we can sleep. Um, <laughs> we've used water so much. We've used water so much. It is kind of dark in here. I'll put a few torches down just temporarily. Okay, we're almost done with the base. I think that will look good. I didn't get a chance to look at it because I didn't want bad things to spawn on my head and fall and kill me. Well, oh, did I break the fence here? Oh, I did. I guess I have to. I have to to get over here. Okay. So yeah, that does look pretty cool. It looks like a nice roof. Cool. So we'll go ahead. We can take away this stuff, and that looks like a nice little roof thingy over there as well. Not bad, dude. Not bad at all. 
Okay. I'm just getting all these ideas, dude. I'm getting all these ideas. Now, obviously, there's going to be, like, more than one story in this thing. That's why there's, like, a big divider right there. So let's just put our water down so that we can gracefully come over here. Okay. Now I, I, can, I can already see it being kind of a pain because of the, the height of this right here. You see how we have to, like, fly above it? So I think to prevent that, if we put an upside down stair right there, it would actually end up being a lot better. You know what I mean? That way when you're flying up, you still get in that gap. There we go. Perfect. And then, yeah, we'll probably use slabs in here just to make it feel a little bit bigger, if that makes sense. So we want to come in here and we're just going to have to remove those temporary torches. And then I'm just going to, okay. <laughs> I'm just going to build a floor right here. I may end up using a few more logs as well. I don't know, is this thing even in, 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 in any capacity? Not really. But just to make it look like it has a little bit of support, you know? Otherwise, it's going to look like it's just kind of floating. I mean, I guess technically the walls surrounding it give it support. But dude, whatever, man. I don't I don't have a degree in uh, in engineering. I don't know what I'm doing. It seems like most, most of the people I'm good friends with have degrees in engineering. I'm not sure why, but they did push STEM pretty hard when I was going to school. They did push it pretty hard. And then maybe we could do some logs in there as well. But yeah, off the bat, it's already looking pretty sweet. And then I think it's kind of calling to me here just to put stairs in the back of the base. Could do ladders, but like, yeah, it's kind of, nah, we're not going to do ladders. We'll move that chest in just a bit. But let me see, can I even get up high enough like with, with stairs right there? Because obviously you don't want to put them against the wall. Uh, we could do some upside down ones there just to kind of play off of it. There we go. And then you probably want to start breaking it right here. Aha, uh -huh. okay. If you wanted to do it proper, you'd put a stair right there. That way you have a little, uh, little 90 degree angle to work off of. And then we could probably put, let's see, is that a slab? Yeah, that's a, no, that's a stair. So you could put an upside down stair there. Ah, oh, that's kind of interesting looking. I like that. But that does make it nice because then you can just walk up here. And then we do have extra fence. So we could just fence that off so you don't fall. And look at that, dude. We'll probably end up breaking this out as well, just so we have a higher ceiling. And one last block to break. All right, well now I'm gonna go and off camera get a bunch of wood, and then I'm probably gonna try to get a few things of coal as well, because I'd really love to get some stone, um, like some stone brick, because I don't have enough coal, but I have a ton of cobblestone. But let's go look at the base from kind of far away. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to remove the water. I'll fix that the only way to really fix it properly is just to re it's because so many water flows connected with it And so the only real fix for that. Oh, no, okay We're gonna have to light that area up pretty soon. I see an enderman there during the day, which is kind of uh, a Little a little disheartening to look at. Oh, dude. It's so pretty. It's such a basic like oh, oh It's so nice I'm probably going to put a few logs. I may use logs down there. I don't know, dude. I have so much inspiration with this. It reminds me of one of the first bases I ever built in Minecraft. That's why I'm so happy to see something like that. But yeah, don't mind me. I'm going to get a little bit of coal. I will come back if ever I see like a cool cave or something I go into. But I'm going to try to just get a bunch of surface coal. I don't want to like spoil any cave exploration because it's always super fun at the beginning. So yeah. Okay, so I'm hearing some very... Uh, I, I don't remember what that mob is. Oh, it's a witch. No, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got our first redstone. That's, that's great. Oh, okay, it already gave us that. So this is the first cave we've ever gone into. And there's coal in it. And it's, it's a, it's, obviously it's a very tiny cave, but hey, it had exactly what we needed, which was a decent vein of coal. Ooh, it is decent, yes. And yeah, we only got 11 pieces of wood, so I'll get some more wood. But we got the coal. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That's too many salmon just to leave there. So we're gonna dive in. If I had any bones, you know, I, I will remember you're here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dog Pal. And I will come back and we will have a pet in this season. What we will name him, I'll let you determine. And I'll actually name him what you guys say. I remember last season, I, I asked for names and then just never named the dogs. Oh my gosh, you guys are running fast. You really do not, you really don't want... I can imagine you don't want to uh, be eaten. Oh, there's a portal down there. There's a portal down there. I must check it out, but not die from uh, not die from suffocation. Okay, let's see. 
Curse of the Vanishing and Mending. <laughs> well, I I do have a faint I have a faint feeling that these will definitely at least we have golden pants. Look at us guys. We are uh, we're we're big balling in the world. I know, I know. I, I could just go right there actually. Can I go backwards? Jeez. There we go. No, wait, what? F5. Get in the bubbles. Jeez, dude. <laughs> it's so hard to play when you're looking at yourself backwards. It was not great. Okay. Yeah, I did get distracted by the salmon. I think we have enough wood. I want to do like just wooden walls in there for right now. We'll do like stone brick floors. Or stone brick walls, maybe? I don't know, but look at that thing off in the distance. You, you know what I mean? This is like the perfect screenshot angle as well. Ooh, because you, know you know what I'd do? I'd go like this, and then I would zoom in on it. And then I would, you know, build something up to float on. You guys don't know the depths I go for the screenshots, dude. There we go. Something like this. Yeah. And then I would zoom in like this and get a screenshot. So I'm like thinking in my head, what should I name this first episode? And I feel like a broken seed indeed is perfect. <laughs> you know what I mean? It has that, you know, kind of rhyme scheme at the end of it. No, don't, don't think about it. What is with these animals? You guys get away. It's like there's no, there's not even a pack of sheep near here. There's just one standalone sheep, and he's like, "Should I do it? Should I do it? Oh man, I don't know. No, please, Mr. Sheep, please, Mr. Sheep, you're, you're, you're doing good now. Don't do that. Yeah, just stand there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I may have. Okay, no, the lava flow is not going to get bigger. I thought I was, I thought I just exacerbated the problem there, but I think we're actually going to be okay. Good. Yeah, I might have waited a little too long to start running, but. Hey, at least we have, you know, almost two and a half stacks of, or one and a half stacks of wood now. May have waited a little bit too long. Let's see. Is stuff gonna, because stuff could spawn like literally on top of this little rock and fall onto me. And that's what I'm not, you know, trying to have happen because I would really value my life. As much as I know that, you know, I'm not going to lose the world when I die now, it still would be kind of nice, you know? It still would be kind of nice not to die. Oh my gosh, my house is so dark. I will fix this, of course. These are all temporary torches because we just got all this stuff. Let's see. So yeah, this definitely stopped smelting. So we'll go ahead and just throw that into there. And we definitely have more cobblestone we will throw into here. I probably could spare making myself another furnace. So we might as well go and do that. Okay. Ooh, sure. You know what? I said one furnace, but I made two. And I know this episode's a little longer. Keep in mind, they won't all be this long. It's just like... I, I, I want to get done with one thing, and, and this is the thing. I don't, I'm not going to have a dedicated length for each video, but I'll kind of feel it out. When I know a video is getting kind of long in the tooth, I will end it. But yeah, what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to definitely remove this cobblestone floor. We're going to make this into a stone brick floor, which will look beautiful. Very excited about that. And then I guess we'll leave this as a wooden floor, and then we'll do the walls as something else. I'm not sure. Maybe some leaves? I really don't know. I'm trying to go for that alpha vibe. Trying to go for that alpha vibe. I don't know. A seed. Wait, what did I call it? A, a broken seed indeed? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back in this clip and remember. Hold on. Okay, so let's just look at this. I could build this really quick. Let's just... We'll, we'll do a little bit of testing here. What do you guys think about the stone brick? No, it's not a super complicated material. Also, no, we're not going to need this much. <laughs> we're not going to need this much stone. I'm going to take away one of these furnaces. We're really not going to need that much. What I am going to need is to put a few blocks up and then I'm going to make some shears. And I know it's kind of weird, but I want to do a bunch of like leaves in here. And I don't know why. I guess we probably should sleep too. Okay, so right here, what I was going to do, I'm going to take this away. And although it looks okay as slabs, I guess, you know what? If I, if I really wanted to amplify this and make it look a little bit better, I probably could put like a stair there that's upside down. Yeah, I guess we don't really need to put logs here, but an upside down stair would give it more, I don't know, more support-ish stuff. But yeah, once all that water settles down, which it looks like it is going to pretty soon. Jeez, dude, what are you doing, water? Oh my goodness, it's still going. Okay, there we go. So now it's all settled. So now when we put it back, it'll look nice and clean again. But yeah, I'm going to go grab some leaves. I'll come right back and we'll finish this bad boy.
right, guys. Well, as you saw from the time lapse, I did build a chest room, which is nice. This is like probably the best starter base I think I've ever built. And I'm, I really love building inside. I don't like building like standalone houses, but dude, look how good this thing looks. Now I'm thinking maybe I'll put some stone brick here now upon, you know, like second thoughts, but we have so much time, but look at this dude. We have our own little growing thing back there. It looks so nice. I put some lanterns down. I have a little, I'm not so sure about all this stuff. You know, some things may get changed. I don't really know where I'm going to use all the leaves I said I was going to use, but that's okay. I did want to go in here and I wanted to kind of add these chests in here because I feel like I made a bunch of room and then I never put anything in here. And uh, that should be enough for right now. And if we wanted to kind of set that in stone, you know what we can do? We can come in here, we can make some stairs and we can line the tops. I think that could look pretty cool. So we could literally just put the stairs like this and it may seem like you can't open them, but since that's not a full block, bada bing, bada boom, baby, look at that. And then we can kind of continue going into the other side and we'll eventually have windows on the other side as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching episode one. This is probably my favorite survival world ever now at this point. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not, if you want to catch the rest of this series. Thank you guys genuinely so much for watching. I'll say this at the end. I do have my own Skyblock server now. We're going to be ending up making it a network. It's called Neo Network. You can find the IP to that in the description below. It's a fully like custom developed. We, we, have, a, we have a full staff team like on payroll. It's it, it, like, a, like a full development team and everything. It's really cool. Anyways, go check that out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the Survival Let's Play. I will see you tomorrow in episode two. Uh, oh, I'm so excited. Let's, let's do that. Let's, let's do the stone brick thing right before we end it. Uh, we still have some stone brick, thankfully. So let's make probably two sets of those. Oh, we have perfect. I was going to say, I wish we had enough for slabs, but we do. So we'll just do a stair, a stair, a stair, a stair. Look at that. Something for the bed, you know? Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. You know what we could do? We could even put some fence there if we have any. Do we still have any fence? Ooh, we do. Let's go. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't work too well because of the fence right there. You know what we could do? I'm trying to find spots for lanterns. Can you hang lanterns from that? No, but you could put a lantern like right there. Aw, oh, dude, such a nice base. Anyways, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!